What if I told you that scientists are working to bring extinct animals back to life? From the woolly mammoth to the Tasmanian tiger, efforts are underway to reverse extinction. But what about the legendary Smilodon, the saber-toothed predator that ruled the Ice Age? Could we see it walk the Earth again? Or is reviving it just a dream? Let's explore the real challenges scientists face in bringing Smilodon back. Did extinction is the process of bringing extinct species back using cloning, gene editing, or selective breeding? Projects like the Woolly Mammoth Revival use CRISPR gene editing to modify elephant DNA and create a mammoth-like hybrid. If this method works for mammoths, why not Smilodon? Well, Smilodon faces bigger challenges than mammoths. Here's why. Unlike mammoths, which lived in ice and have well-preserved DNA, Smilodon fossils are mostly found in places like the La Brea tar pits, where DNA degrades faster. Scientists need high-quality, complete DNA to reconstruct an extinct animal's genome. Unfortunately, most Smilodon DNA is too fragmented, making cloning nearly impossible. Even if we recover partial DNA, we would need a closely related species to fill in the gaps, but Smilodon has no direct modern relatives. For cloning to work, scientists would need a living species to carry and give birth to a Smilodon clone. The closest relatives today are big cats like lions and tigers, but their biology is too different from Smilodon. Smilodon had a unique skeletal structure, powerful forelimbs, and a different reproductive cycle, making it unlikely that a modern big cat could successfully carry a Smilodon cub. Without a suitable surrogate mother, cloning Smilodon is currently not possible. Let's assume for a moment that scientists succeed in reviving Smilodon. Where would it live? Unlike mammoths, which can be introduced into Arctic reserves, Smilodon was an apex predator that relied on Ice Age megafauna like giant sloths and prehistoric bison. Today, those prey species are extinct. Even if we place Smilodon in modern jungles or grasslands, it might disrupt existing ecosystems, leading to conflicts with humans and modern predators. Without a suitable environment and prey, reviving Smilodon would be ethically questionable and potentially dangerous. Scientists may not be working on reviving Smilodon right now, but who knows what the future holds? With advancements in genetics, we might one day solve these challenges. But here's a question for you, if scientists could bring Smilodon back, should they? Would reintroducing an apex predator from the past be a scientific breakthrough, or a disaster waiting to happen? Let me know what you think in the comments. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe for more mysteries of the ancient world. See you in the next one.